TT Score provides the ability to identify a potentially problematic trading activity, review that activity from a variety of perspectives, record a review, and open and manage investigations. In this video, we'll use TT Score to record a review of an individual cluster, record a review of a cluster group, and open and manage an investigation. From the TT Score dashboard, let's apply the spoofing model filter to our firm's trading activity by clicking View Clusters. We'll set our date to July 29th and click Apply Filters. We can see from our heat map that the cluster group associated with Trader 1747 has a high percentage of high risk clusters. Let's change our view to Daily Cluster Group to group the data by trader and instrument, and then we'll filter to view daily cluster groups associated with Trader 1747. On the Daily Cluster Groups view, we see that the trader has two daily cluster groups that contain a notable percentage of clusters with high scores and see that one contains a higher number of clusters. Let's click View Clusters to review the individual clusters in this group. We'll click Inspect on one of the clusters with the highest score and analyze the trading activity for potential spoofing. On the cluster scorecard that opens, we see this trader repeatedly entering large working orders into the market and then executing smaller orders on the opposite side. After completing our analysis of the trader's activity, we can record the results of our review in TT Score. Let's click Review Cluster to open the review sidebar. We can enter our review notes and then click Add Note. We see a confirmation message of Note Added displayed in the upper right hand corner of the screen and can see that our note has been added to the history section. A review cannot be edited in order to adhere to the right once read menu requirements. If we want to revise or elaborate, we would add additional notes. We also have the ability to record a review at the cluster group level, which will also enter the review into each individual cluster within the group. Within the daily cluster group view, we'll select a group that we have analyzed, which has a small percentage of high-risk clusters. We'll click Review Investigate to record our review for all the clusters in the group. In the review sidebar, we'll enter our review notes and click Add Note. After recording our review, when we click View Clusters, we see that each cluster has a review status of true. And when we inspect the review of one of the individual clusters, we see that a bulk review alert is recorded in the history section of the review sidebar. If we feel that a cluster requires additional attention, we can add our review to an existing investigation or create a new investigation. In the Type Investigation Name field, we'll enter a name and click Create New Investigation. The status message, Investigation Created, appears in the top right corner to indicate that it has been added successfully. We continue to review more clusters for this trader and can now add these clusters to our new investigation. Back on the dashboard, we see that the investigation is added to the Open Investigation section. To view our investigation, we click the View Investigation button. On the investigation detail page that appears, we can view the clusters and daily cluster groups that were added to the investigation. We can also see its progress in the status field and update it as needed. We can assign a different owner using the owner field, and we can add comments to be added to the history section. We can also attach files and supporting documents by clicking Add Attachment. Once an update is complete, we simply click Save. Now, when the new owner navigates to the investigation, they see the updates we made listed in the history section. As you can see, TT Score provides a full toolset for conducting and managing investigations of potentially problematic trading activity. To learn more, visit our website at tradingtechnologies.com.